it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here with another video and we are back on dad's farm again here today uh, So a lot has happened. Uh, first off you can see our money. Uh, we are um, I can't get up to it, but it's we are negative twenty three thousand um, uh, dollars Because of fast forwarding and spending so much on chemical and seed uh, can't be helped, but oh well as you can see some of our equipment is also partially clean uh, that is due to because uh, I just I finished planting the soybeans on a live stream this morning uh, Today's Tuesday uh, This is your Thursday video. You guys are getting a Thursday video. You're also I'm hoping going to get some farming video uh, footage tonight or tomorrow uh, Or maybe it's already been out. I don't know uh, because, like I said, today's Tuesday. I'm going to be at the farm starting tomorrow night. Um, so I finished the soybeans off camera uh, on a live stream. And you can see we do have a lot of weeds in this field. But that's because I did not get this field sprayed fast enough. Um, field 15 is partially sprayed. And this field is not sprayed uh, with second round of herbicide. That's just because I did not get to it. Uh, we'll see maybe after corn I can get it going um, We'll see we need to shut the lights off in this guy um, So it is six o'clock at night seven no Six o'clock at night. Uh, we're gonna get started on our corn here uh, You can see we got all of our crops finished uh, That stuff anyway as you can see all of our wheat fields there and all of our uh Corn or soybeans right there um, So we're gonna go ahead and hop in the t9 here And we're gonna get started uh, We are kind of on a time crunch uh, Because we have to get this all four of these fields planted before soil mod kicks in again at um, midnight so we have about five and a half hours. So we'll see how long it takes to plant this field. Uh, I'm gonna try and get, you know, I know we're not gonna finish this in this video, but off camera, I'm gonna try and get all of the corn finished. So that way, um, Tuesday's video next week is of, um, is of harvest. So we're gonna, aim for that and uh, see what happens there so I'm a little out of breath and sweaty I just went for a ride um, this morning or this afternoon I went and got some replacement parts for my bike uh, because I had some issues on brakes so I had to get new parts and also some new brake pads and so I had to go pick that up and um, so I left earlier this afternoon um, after I finished streaming uh, I took the vehicle and went and went to Ace Hardware and um, picked up some zip ties because our weed whacker is supposed to auto feed but it broke so it doesn't feed and the pe well I shouldn't say it broke it lost a piece and the piece that it lost like held the top on and also is what you know you would smack that on the ground and it would feed more out well that went missing and so we tried just taking like a nut and a washer but that didn't work sorry for doing that I just I have a like a stuffy nose and clogged throat I have the back end of a cold and uh uh, so I went there to get zip ties and whatever and was because before we just took the uh, weed whacker string and did some like looping and pulling tight and taping and whatever and it worked but then we ran out of string because uh, we didn't have a whole lot of string left and then what we did have left got used up so we had to either buy a new string or try out the zip tie idea and so I went and did that got some zip ties and went 
put them on there and I don't know if I bought light duty zip ties or if zip ties just aren't going to work because I started and like barely got anything done and the zip ties snapped. And so, um, but while I was at Ace, I also picked up a job application for there because um, I'm going to apply to work there as well as another uh, place not far from that uh, called Tractor Supply. Um, and both of those are within biking distance, which is why I wanted to get parts for my bike. Also, just because I enjoy riding my bike. Uh, even though I can drive, I still like riding my bike. And um, so then I had to go to a cyclery, cyclery store and pick up uh, some new parts. And then came back and fiddled around with my bike for about an hour, hour and a half. And got it all ready to go and then uh, did a little test ride just now uh, to see how long it takes to ride to ace and back and about around eight and a half nine minutes uh, there and back uh, roughly for about four and a quarter minutes uh, one way roughly uh, coming back was a lot faster because it was all mostly downhill uh, going there was most uphill so uh, but yeah, so I got that uh, done, and so that was a, um, that's why I'm, like, out of breath, and, because I haven't gone riding my bike in quite a while, because uh, it's been broken for quite a while, I didn't have any brakes at all, because uh, I didn't have front brake pads, because I had, my front brake pads went bad, or, or were bad when I got the bike because uh, it was a used bike that my grandpa found in an alleyway and it had a pop tire and then the front brakes were bad and he got a new tire for it and put that on and then uh, he gave it to me because uh, it was it's the size that I need and then yeah so I had to spend about close to $35 for uh, rear brake couplers which are the parts that squeeze together and then I had those came with brake pads and then I had to buy two uh, two brake pads for the front and so now my bike's ready to go I'm also going to do I'm gonna um, <coughs> uh, buy some spray paint or paint of some sort and paint my bike uh, and peel off the decals that are on it and give it a nice new paint job uh, thinking like black with like some pinstripes or something uh, something just kind of completely different um, just for the heck of it you know little side project I guess um, something extra to do really um, so <clears throat> Yeah, so that'd be kind of a neat idea. Um, I'm not 100% on what colors I'm going to do yet. Um, while I was at Ace, I saw an Alice Chalmers orange and kind of thought it'd be thought it'd be kind of funny to do it in Alice Chalmers orange just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, with like John Deere green and John Deere yellow stripes around it. That'd be kind of funny. Um, but... But yeah, so we're going to hop in the truck here. And while we're by it, uh, just top off the te uh, planter. Try and aim it into the tank here. Definitely does not take long to refill this planter, even when empty. Um, I don't know if it's just, well, the planter really doesn't hold all that much, so. So you can see all of our equipment sitting in the yard here is mostly cleaned up. Uh, we will still have to give it a rinse uh, once we're done, especially with like the spreader and sprayer and this setup here uh, because it'll be dirtier uh, from planting and spreading and spraying. Uh, other than field 16 and some of 15, our fields are looking great. Uh, levels are really, really great as well. Uh, we're 
we're going to be in business uh, come harvest, uh, which should be in game. It should be tomorrow. Uh, it's not far away at all. Oh. So yeah, harvest will be busy. Um, it'll be a good time. Hopefully we can make uh, the nearly $740,000 that we need uh, to buy into beef. Uh, if not, then we'll take out a loan uh, for whatever amount we need. Uh, and probably some extra, just so that way... Uh, we'll probably end up taking out a loan unless we get like a million dollars off a of harvest, which I highly doubt we will. Um, so we'll have to take out some loans so that way we can survive the next season as well as uh, afford to buy beef. Because uh, I haven't figured that into the cost. Uh, I've only figured in the equipment, so that'll be uh, something that we'll need to do. Uh, to get uh, to get that figured out. So I don't know if you can. I don't know if this map's set up so that you can just buy beef directly, or if uh, you have to go through the store and buy them. Um. <clears throat> oh. Damn my throat. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know when I'm going to uh, head to the farm. Um, what I'm thinking I might do is do like a kind of like a vlog type thing uh, so you know like start it Wednesday and be like you know on my way to the farm and then you know I'm here or whatever and then you know again the next morning or something like that uh, just make like video of the entire thing and upload it in one long video or else do like a few different videos or maybe I'll make it into one long video and just do parts or something I don't know we'll find out <laughs> And what I'm going to do is just kind of run over here and uh, <clears throat> do this side as well while our GPS line is lined up for it. Oh, man. I'm going to actually do this line because of the trees. Uh, I'll be able to back the planter up to this spot. This planter definitely takes a little power to get going, but uh, it runs very nicely. As you can tell, the planter is just about fully dirty again, and the uh, tractor is making its way there. Uh, I suppose I technically could get the spreader and sprayer started, but I don't want to be running into them. Well, what I could do is start the one. Start one of them on field 5 here and one of them on field 6 because those fields will take longer to get to. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to finish this headland here and then I'm going to get those guys going I think. Um, yeah that's that's going to work because it doesn't really matter if like if it's uh, I don't think. You know what we're going to do a test of that. We're going to test this and see what happens. And I'm actually going to take a quick pause here. I need to go get some water. My throat's killing me. Be right back in just a sec. Alright, and we are back. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of a test pass to make sure that the cedar is not going to plow in or cultivate in 
I should say, um, the NPK, uh, or the herbicide for that matter. Uh, it shouldn't, it won't affect the herbicide, but it's just the NPK or the PK that I'm questioning. See, our uh, sprayer has a lot of hours on it. It's up at about 10 hours right now, uh, which is a lot. Um, I mean, I know it really in, you know, all technicality, it really isn't all that much. But if you think about, like, the game, 10 hours is a lot. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of time uh, on a spreader or a sprayer. I mean, the sprayer, spreader, oh my god, I keep confusing them. On the spreader here, this has eight, almost eight and a half hours on it. So that, even that's just pretty crazy. So, Alright, we're just going to do a little strip right there like that. And we'll hop over into the planter and just see what it does. So it looks like it's leaving it, so what I can do, once I get turned around here, um, I'll get, I gotta, we gotta fill the spreader first before we get it going, but, uh, we can get it going here on, we'll probably get it started on this field and then get the sprayer started on six, and then we'll flip flop them, uh, once they finish, then once they, once I finish, uh, fields seven and eight, then I can get the plant, uh, spreader and sprayers, spreader and sprayer going on those fields. Man, that's a definite tongue twister right there. You can't say that a hundred times fast. Okay, so let's get our truck here. And let's get this thing over to the field. Uh, and I did not stop the timer, so once it goes off, um, let's see, I only recorded for, come on thing, let's go. Only for 14 minutes, so let's stop this. Let's add a timer for 16 minutes. We'll go 17 actually and we'll start that there we go and we actually need to rename this to part one just so I don't get those confused when I finish and go to edit Yeah, again, I said this in uh, Tuesday's video, but if you haven't already, uh, go check out the latest update on my mod site. Um, you guys, I... Whoa. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy that. Uh, because it's very good. I'm not going to give any uh, spoils, but uh, it's very, very good. Uh, and you guys, I think, will enjoy it. Uh, the news that it brings. See, even with two hours on this truck, it's uh, still not dirty. I don't know what the uh, dirt duration is set at, but... I do want to go back in and uh, add... Uh, only the blue part has dirt on it. So I want to go in and add dirt to all the rest of this stuff. Uh, so that way this thing is a dirty monster once uh, it's fully dirty. And then also want to adjust the dirt duration to make sure that it doesn't take ages for it to get dirty. Get this guy filled up. And we'll load up 
We are sitting in field five. We need to load up field five spreader. Here we go. Um, so we need to take this guy up and we're going to top him off. And then we also have to switch to, I believe it's CC. Yep, herbicide CC. We will cruise on over here to the uh, tender, and in the meantime, we'll load up field six sprayer. I do still need to edit all these, but uh, or all the courses and put them into folders. But uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. Yeah, this thing is actually up at 12 hours now. That's, if you think about it, in-game, that's a lot. And I keep rolling over my stinking cords. It's driving me nuts. So let's take these little grass uh, waterway type things because they allow us to go faster. I have a message here I need to look at. Oh, cool. Awesome. Save that to my Dropbox. Like I said, my throat's, throat's killing me right now. I've done way too much talking today. I've made one full video. And working on this video. And then I streamed for about two hours. So, done about three hours of talking. Let's see, do I have this starting over here or down in starting down here. Okay. Here. Really eight? Wow. Ah, uh, I always hate that. I always think course play is going to start, but it doesn't. Oh shoot. We forgot to change to MPK. Or to PK, not MPK. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna bring the truck down here. We'll just f set this sprayer up to follow it, and, uh, go like that. Kill two birds with one stone, I guess. There we go. Now we can get this guy set up and running. Yep. It's red. It's what we want.
No. Oh, stupid close play. Oh, because I have it set to first waypoint. That would be why. Oh, man. All right. Let's get this guy running, and then we can get back to planting. Pull this guy off to the side here. But he won't be in the way. Now we gotta roll before the spreader comes upon us. Which I think he will anyways. Now he's gonna kinda trudge along behind us. Hopefully we can, uh, <clears throat> play nice. So he's, I'm going fast enough that, see, I think the spreader's running at 15 and I'm running at 12, so just a couple more miles an hour faster, so he's catching up, but very slowly catching up. Just fine by me. We must have just clipped over to another. Yep, so we just had to re rent our fertilizer tender truck. But that's alright, I guess. By the time that uh, spreader gets to us, we'll be moving on. And he'll be turning here in just a second. So, there we go, we made it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head up here, kind of follow this spreader, and we're going to head up and do a headland around this farmyard and these trees. And now we're catching up on the spreader here. Just going to miss him. Alright, here we go. So we'll get our food going again. Perfect. Wow, look at that accuracy. That's crazy. So yeah, these are the last four fields that we have to plant and then we can uh, be done planting for the season, which I'll be very, very thankful to be done because the planting is seeming to take forever, uh, which it has, it's taken about Probably about 15 hours or so. Um, so it's, it's definitely going to be nice to have it over with. And we're going to load back up our original course here. Then we can get rid of our GPS.
Alright, so this will do it for headlands. Uh, shoot. We have to do one more right there. Oh, well, I can just freehand that one. Alright, there we go. So let's move over here and do this little section of headland, and then we can uh, continue going up and down. Yeah, this won't be as much of a headland as uh, down on that side, but that's alright. Doesn't need to be a super huge headland because there's nothing right here that will hit. Uh, there's power lines, but those are on the opposite side of the road, so with this we'll have plenty of room to turn around. And uh, if we can't turn around in that section, then something's... Uh, Something's wrong. Let's see if we can make this without missing too much. I know we'll miss some, but... There we go. Not too bad. Alright. Now we can roll right along. Yeah, this field in particular is looking really good. Uh, A6% moisture, 7N and uh, 4 PK. That's right, 4 PK? No, it's 2 PK. Still, even that's uh, not bad. We'll, we're putting down more PKs, so we should be uh, sitting pretty well. I think we're... When we spread PK... Um, fertilizing, that's with liquid, that's spreading, no, yeah, fertilizing, oh wait, that's just for moisture, okay, um, so PK adds three, so we should have about five, and we need about four, so we'll be sitting pretty well. Excuse me. So yeah, as you can tell, or maybe you can't, uh, we have our cabin light on here in the tractor. Uh, which I think is a really cool feature. Uh, Joe did really, really well on this tractor, as well as the other New Hollands that are in that pack that he released, as well as his combines. Uh, he does very, very nice work in general. Uh... <coughs> You know, a lot of people get mad because his stuff is, he keeps to himself, but I, I really don't care, um, I mean, if somebody makes something, they're entitled to do with, with it what they want, you know, just like me, I can make stuff and keep it to myself if I want to, and anybody else can, if I want to release it, that's my decision. Uh, but a lot of people feel they're entitled to stuff, which is very annoying. Uh, like I had somebody like that in my stream uh, earlier today that uh, was asking for mods. Um, and there was one person that was asking for a link once, uh, but I'm not talking about that person. Uh, in case you're watching this, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about a different person that was there earlier before you. Um, that, uh, was completely having a meltdown, uh, over it. So I can tell our sprayer is working on his second headland. timer is done so like I said uh, what I'm gonna do is off-camera finish uh, planting before 
uh, Tuesday, uh, or maybe I'll try and get a video out Saturday. Uh, we'll see if I, I'm just going to warn you right now. If I do get a video out Saturday, it's not going to be at noon. Uh, I'm going to aim for 2 o'clock uh, on Saturday. If I do get a video out then of FS. But uh, I'm going to get, for the next video of a farm sim, uh, I'm going to get us up to harvest. So I will finish planting, spreading, and spraying all of the corn fields. And then uh, get us fast forwarded to when our wheat is ready. And then we'll be rocking and rolling. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smack that thumbs up button for me. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. And if you're subscribed already or planning to subscribe, make sure that you turn on the post notifications if you have not already. And that will notify you as soon as I upload a video, uh, provided that YouTube acts correctly and doesn't uh, send it like two hours later, but whatever. Uh, and... Make sure you check out down below in the description the links to all my social medias, my mod site. Make sure you go check out that uh, update on the website. It is the most recent post. Um, and uh, make sure you check out the other cool YouTube channels that are linked down below in my description. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.